Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have another ColourPop collection. I'm sorry you guys, I just, I know you guys are probably tired of the ColourPop videos, but if we're being honest, nothing else really excites me except for ColourPop collections, if we're being completely honest. I always get so excited when I see that ColourPop is coming out with new collections, especially their 9 pan palettes. So that's what we have today. We have the brand new Smoke Show collection. It's a small collection. It's mostly just um, eye products. Let's get into it. So we have the palette that I feel like so many people have been asking for. I always read ColourPop's comments, Trend Mood's comments to see like what people say about every collection and like what they want and stuff. And I have never seen so many requests for this particular palette so I'm so happy that they made it finally and I know so many other people are gonna be so happy about it too so this is the smoke show palette so this is the little box and this is the palette and you open her up and this is this beautiful smoky palette I was so excited when I opened up the box so in here we have perfect cool tone smoky palette if there was ever a perfect smoky palette in my head this would be it it is perfect it really is we have a matte white a matte gray darker grays blacks a sparkly black a darker topier gray metallics they did that this is retailing for 12 dollars just like all of their other nine pan palettes the next thing we have is the smoke and mirrors glitterly obsessed mini trio mine kind of got messed up but we just have the Glitterly Obsessed. Um, I'm not going to open this. I mentioned this before. I don't ever use the Glitterly Obsessed. So I like to put them aside for giveaways. So I'm not going to open this one up. But in here we have Starfire, Disco Lady, and Trippin' on Skies. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like those are the ones that come in pretty much every Glitterly Obsessed trio. So if you have these already, you most definitely won't need this. But if you don't, we have another trio here. That retails for $12. Next we have the Starry Eyed BFF bundle and this is it right here and inside we have some bff liners we have the numero uno liquid liner this is just the black one we have the exit cream gel liner and the kicker cream gel liner exit is like the greatest white eyeliner ever kicker is a really pretty silver metallic liner and this is retailing for 18 dollars. next thing in this collection is the heavy metal super shock shadow trio this is the packaging i really love the packaging of everything i just the black really speaks to me and this one we have frisky tassel and liberty uh i know tassel and liberty are re-promoted shades i don't know if frisky is a new shade or not but um i know for sure tassel and liberty have already existed before they go perfect with this collection so i think that they chose the colors very well and this little trio is retailing for 15 dollars this is not on the little card in here but there is a little bff cleansing oil in here i don't know if this is part of the collection or not maybe they're just making a little mini one but this is the fourth ray beauty bfd cleansing oil um i don't know how much this is I don't know if this is even part of the collection. It was just in the box. So I was like, okay, maybe it's part of it because it's black. Um, or also because like it's kind of themed around like Halloween and stuff. So maybe like to remove Halloween makeup. I don't know. But I love the BF BFD cleansing oil. I use it almost every single day to remove my makeup. It's great. So that is everything in the collection. This is launching on October 10th at 10 a.m. PST. You guys can use my code, which is just Katrina. It'll save you 10% off. Are some exclusions, so I always just say to just put the code in at checkout and see what it works on yeah so that's everything in this collection i don't have very many palettes that look like this so when i saw it i was very very happy so this is the look that i came up with today using the palette and the rest of the collection so if you guys want to see how i got this look right here and my little review on the entire collection as well then just keep watching okay so let's start off with the eyes also these earrings i can't these are also from juju goddess jewels I'm obsessed. I think they also glow in the dark too and I think that's adorable. Into the Smoke Show palette. I'm so excited. I don't have any palettes like this except for like one I think and I don't ever use it. Not because like I just, I don't know, the formula is not my favorite but you guys know I love the ColourPop formula so I'm excited. I'm going to start off with Stone Face which is that shade right there and it's like a light, um, it's like the color of like a stone. Stone Face. Literally like the color of a stone. I'm gonna start off with this shade and I'm using this as my transition so I'm just gonna place that in my crease and build build it upwards towards upwards towards the brow. 
my god, this shade Smokin' or Full Metal, I don't know, one of them I'm gonna use all over the lid. It's, they're both so pretty. It's really light, which is good because you always really want a light, if you're gonna do like a black and gray smoky eye, you definitely want a light gray to use as a transition just to make everything really blend nice and seamless. Now that these shades are also super intimidating too sometimes, like I know so many people are just scared to use black eyeshadow and if you'd use it in small amounts at a time, you will be fine. Um, it's when you start like just going heavy handed, that's when like everything starts to look like a mess. So far I really like this shade because I don't know if you can tell, it's like barely doing anything but that's what you want. You don't want like super harsh color right away, you want to build all this up. From there I'm going to go in to Slated. It looks pretty pigmented so I am like tapping in and then also tapping some off on my hand just so we don't have like a lot of product. And I'm just putting that in the crease. And just taking small amounts at a time. I'm focusing this on the outer corner and then into the crease. I go back with the brush that I was using before with no additional product just to blend those two shades together. I'm just building this color up. I'm taking literally the smallest amount of product at a time just so I don't have any harsh lines and then going back with the brush from before or just a regular clean brush too. There's nothing really left on this one so um, just to blend everything together. I'm gonna keep building this color up until it's the intensity that I want it to be because I think the next shade I'm gonna go into is black. Okay, so I pretty much built it up to around like this intensity. It looks almost like it does in the pan. Again just take small amounts of time and everything will be nice and blended. So I'm gonna go in the shade. Let's do it right here in the bottom corner. I'm taking some on the brush, tapping it in, and then tapping the remaining product on the, my hand right here. Just not too much product, so I'm going to start off in the outer corner over here. And you don't want to take the black super high up into the crease because then that's when you start looking like you've been punched. <laughs> so I'm focusing it first on the outer corner. Just building this up onto the lid as well. Slowly bringing that into that um, slated color. Ooh, look at how smoky it looks now. Wow. Yeah, honestly, I was going to take it across the whole lid, but I think I want to leave it like that. I'm going to put that, um, I think I'm going to go in with full metal next and put that on the lid, but I think I want to leave it like this. I'm going to go back with slated, tap some of that off, and blend those two shades together. Ooh, we are smoky over here. I'm going back with the original brush that I used stone face on, and... Making sure that these edges over here are nice and blended. These two shimmers look really similar. One is a little bit more purpley taupey, which is full metal. And then Smokin' is a little bit more like true gunmetal. I'm going to go ahead and take full metal for the lid shade. And I am going to wet it just so I really get that like metal effect. So I make it really metallic. Let's see. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I wanted because I didn't want it to be too light and kind of take away from the smokiness of it but I really wanted like to use a shimmer just packing that on once that is wet and like a little damp I'm taking the other side of the brush I talked about this a little bit in my Disney video but I just like to take the other side dry and go right over that and it makes it so metallic and it just pops. I'm gonna take a little bit of Starstruck, which is the middle shade, it's the silver. I wanna just pop that on a little bit and then kind of just blend, blend that into the other shade. And I'm just taking a little bit more of the black shadow and just making sure that that's blended into full metal. I was finishing up this eye really quick before I went into my face, but I added um, Night Dream which is the sparkly black in here. I added it like right where I put um, in the middle of full metal and then let's do it, the black, matte black. And it looks magical. It is so pretty. It should take a little bit. I'm just taking some on my finger and it just really adds like something. I don't know, it, the sparkle in it is so pretty. It has like purple sparkle. It is literally so pretty. Let's use one of the super shocks. I have Liberty, which is an uh, existing shade. I have that one. I love that one. Tassel is my favorite inner corner highlight. And then this one is Frisky. So I'm going to take a little bit of this one too. And ooh, that is so pretty. I'm going to just take that 
in the middle right here. Pretty much covering up that exact shade that I just put on there. Um, but this is so pretty. This one has like um, silver and blue sparkle in it. This one's really pretty. Ooh, I love. Okay, so I have the rest of my face on right now. I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the Kicker eyeliner, which is the silver one. Take a little bit of this. I love this eyeliner. It's so like intense. Like you can see the silver so much, especially in person. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in first with. Um, we're going to go in first with Slated, and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. And I am going to take a little bit of Night Dream, which was the sparkly black, like the tiniest amount, and just put that on the outer part. And for my inner corner... I'm going to use Tassel, and if you guys have never used Tassel, you guys are missing out. It is like the best inner corner highlight I've ever used. So glad they put this in this collection. I'm taking a little bit on my pinky. You guys see that? It is so beautiful. I love Tassel with my whole entire heart. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the collection. There are some Glitterly Obsessed in here. You guys know how I feel about those. Don't really care for them. Always you guys can use the Glitterly Obsessed however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. Me do my, I'll do my lips on camera just so we have something else to do in here, not just <laughs> the eyes. So I'll be right back. Lashes are on. These are the Rouge and Rogue Nirvana lashes. I love these. Take a little bit of the ColourPop BFF Three lip liner. Just going really lightly with this and then kind of blending it out with my fingers. And I'm gonna go in with the Time Los Angeles True Love Liquid Lip. This one's like a really good nude. So this is the finished look. I love it i love this palette so much i didn't think i would like it as much as i do but i absolutely love it it's super easy to blend it wasn't hard to blend out at all the everything was like super buttery and just really pigmented i love the shimmers in here i think they are beautiful i think the the palette is just so pretty i love it so happy they did it because i know so many people have been asking for a like smoky black gray tone palette i do love the rest of the products they picked for the collection the super shocks in here are beautiful um i love that frisky shade that i put on and tassel is my favorite inner corner highlight and i have used liberty before and that one is also beautiful i also really like the bff bundle i love the colors in here i use numero uno all the time um when i want to do black liner or anything and then exit is a great white um, eyeliner for the waterline. It is so good. I just used it in my Coraline video. It is amazing. Kicker is so pretty as well. It's such a pretty silver. It's so vibrant and it really shows up super metallic on your waterline. I definitely think the star of the show obviously is the palette and I definitely recommend it if you like these kind of tones. Very cool tones, smoky. I love it and even if you don't like these kind of tones and if, if you don't have anything like this in your collection, it's really good to have in your collection because there are so many good shades in here like the black is really good there's a stark white a gray and then the shimmers in here are just really pretty so it's a really good palette too to use with other palettes to deepen them up with like the blacks and the grays and stuff so also this i think this is perfect time to come out too because halloween um i know for me i do a lot of like when i do halloween looks and stuff i do a lot of shading grays and blacks so i'm definitely gonna be using this for an upcoming look that i'm doing so i'm really excited for that it's how I feel about the nine pan palettes they're the loves of my life I love them so I definitely recommend this palette I think the look that I came up with is so pretty I'm obsessed with it that shimmer so good anyways I hope that you guys like this video leave me a comment down below are you gonna pick up the palette are you not are you gonna skip on it let me know I will link everything in the description box for you guys as well as always links pricing anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did like this video then make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye